Hello and welcome to Tech 18. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about the menu expand and collapse feature in Power Apps. If you look at into the screen now I have this menu on the left side in expand mode. If I click here then it reduces its size to collapse mode and if I want to navigate something I can navigate from here to the next page or also I can just go back to here and then click on the buttons. So if I click here, it goes back to the home button and if I click on the hotels, it goes to the hotels screen. So before going into that in detail, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So first of all, to do this, uh, let me go back to this previous screen, which is this one. The topics which are going to cover today is the menu expand and collapse, menu button fixed location these buttons which is showing up here at the screen on the right side and also menu button flexible location which I will show you that and also the navigation from one page to another page and also some other tips while working on this project. Okay, so first of all what I have <coughs> done here is I have taken a horizontal container. So if you click on the insert statement here then you will get about container. So we have the options of container, horizontal container, vertical and the container. So this container is basically the advance of the group of controls, grouping of controls and this is actually the container. So here we are placing it horizontal way. So we want to expand and collapse thing. So we want to use the horizontal container. So if you want to create a kind of sections in Power Apps, then you can use vertical container so that you can expand and collapse uh, at every section level. Um, so I just added this container here and when I add this one, it actually gives me these options here. The direction which shows up here is horizontal or vertical. Here also we can change the direction and also the justification. So where you want to keep this one. So here right now I set it to be left aligned. So whatever I have set up here to be left aligned. I don't want to be split from the center or the right or the two corners. I just start from the left and right because I want to expand and collapse in this way, right? So that's why I need this option about to start from left side. And also the align of this vertical, it has to be uh, like I want to be expand this to this entire screen or adjust to the level of whatever the controls I have. So I want this to be fixed to this entire screen. So that's why I used up here. This is the top align, this is the center align and this is the bottom align. So I need this to be stretched out. So I use these options. And the gap between these is the white space. What you see here is the 10, which is the padding. You can see also that. And after that, we have this horizontal overflow, which we want to add a scroll bars or want or don't. You can make use of these options here. Apart from the nothing much here, I just used this control. And inside to that, I have used about this one, which is basically another container because I want to add multiple things inside to that. But this container is not the horizontal or vertical container. This is actually the grouping what I mentioned earlier, right? So that's the thing. So this container I have added here and inside to that, I use all these buttons here. The reason why I use container is basically when we have set up this option to stretch here, like for example, we have added a stretch option here, right? So if I add some control, it actually stress all the controls. So I don't need that way. So I want to place this as per my own uh, desired location. So that's why we need to add a container inside to this horizontal container. And after that, I can place these uh, fields wherever I want to add up here. So to show this as an example, uh, let me just add a gallery or a button itself here and just adding up onto the right side here. So you see now the button is added as a third part of this container and it is actually taking the whole space. So that's the reason I need to use this container and inside to that I can use whatever the fields uh, controls I want to add up here. So let's go back to the previous state. And after that, now I need expand and collapse option. So for this, if I click on this container, I have the option about here the flexible width, right? This is actually the container and here also I want to align this to be stretched out and here we have the flexible width. So flexible width, I have just turned this off for this container and for this container is turned on. The reason for that is this height of this container I have fixed here. So that's why it's manually fixed what I have done here. 
So that's why I just turn this off. And if you click on the width here, I have just written a variable here where menu width. So I'm defining it the width of this particular left side menu as a static one as per my input. If I click on to this button, I just added icons here. And here update context, this menu width is equal to 300. I just, I'm setting this to be just 300 width. And whatever the left we have it on the screen, I am just setting up this container to be stretched out. And its height is flexible width. So it can flexible based on the space available on the screen. So that's the advantage of that. And here I'm setting up this to be 300. And for the same thing, I'm setting up for the close icon. And here the width is 60. So 60 is nothing but it's just showing me only this space until the icons which I show up here. So that's the reason I set it up 60. And if I click here, it expands to 300. So that's how it does. And here as we are set up as a flexible width, so that's why it's actually expanding and collapsing this container. So that's how you can set up using the variable and using two containers. Not ends here. If you notice one thing, if I close this one, this menu, the text orange color is actually shifting its location. If I expand this one, it's shifting, but these two buttons is actually not shifting its location. There may be cases where you want to realign this text box or control or images on the screen, then you can make use of that. There may be cases that you don't want to use of this moving of the button, then you can make this static option here. So here how to do that kind of situation is basically, if I click on this one, it's all depend on the x-axis and y-axis. So this x-axis of this label control is set to be 304. And now if I click on the expand option here, and if I again click on to this one, it's set it to be 304. So there is no change on the X axis of this particular label. So that's why it is actually inside to this container. So it actually takes the start point of the beginning of this container location. From this location, it had to be 304. So that's why even if it is in expanded mode or in the collapse mode, it's actually navigating from here and there. But for this button, if you look at into this X axis of this button, I will set up a calculation here. So what is the calculation is if the width of this variable which I have declared here is 60, then I want this to be 300 plus 150 minus 60. It basically I am just setting up to fixed location. So 300 is nothing but the menu width and 150 is actually the place where it is right now. And the 60 is basically this menu width which I am setting up when it is collapsed. So if you set this option, even if I expand or collapse this, it's not going to change its location because it automatically adds those calculation and set up this X axis of this particular control. And now the next thing is the navigation. So right now we are covered about expand and collapse and fixed location and flexible location and the navigation. Navigation is nothing but I just use here these buttons and an icon here. And here on the button property, I set up this variable width to be 60 to collapse the menu and also navigate to this another screen, which is I have also used the navigation option to be cover right side. So the another screen, I just use copy and paste here of this screen and just use the duplicate screen, which is the option available here. If I click on the three dot icon, we have a duplicate screen. If I do so, I just added this screen here and then I just use the background image inside to this container. And also I have added this navigation to the home button. When I click here, it goes back to the home. So that's how if I click on to this home button, it goes to this home. And then if I click on to this one, it goes to this one. So here also we can have the option about expand and collapse. I applied the same logic here. We can make use of that. So this is how you can able to build up this expand and collapse menu options in Power Apps. It can be helpful in building up vertical mobile canvas app or tablet mode canvas app itself. So both of them are fine. You can make use of that feature. If you like this video, just hit the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure to turn on the notification on your devices. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it on the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.